जय सीताराम रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेदसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीता यह पते ए नम बालकान चैप्टर सेवेंटी फाइव राम एंड राम In the previous chapter, we saw how the Lord and his wife and his uh, brothers and their wives and King Dashratha and Vashishta and the entire retinue returned to Ayodhya. And on the way, they see uh, some very good omens and some very bad omens. Vashishta explains that the good omens mean that even though there is a danger, it is going to be allayed. And... Soon, Rama of the axe of the line of uh, sage Brigu comes over uh, and uh, he is terrible to behold. He is full of luster and everyone offers him obeisances, but he turns angrily towards Lord Rama and he's about to speak. And in this chapter, we will see how Lord Ramachandra, the son of King Dashratha, curbs the pride of parashurama verse 1 rama dasharate veera veeryam te shruyate adbhutam dhanusho bhedanam jaiva nikhilena maya shrutam rama the sound of dashratha rama the voice of fame speaks in no measured tones of thy marvelous might thy breaking of the bow of mahadeva at janaka's hall i know it all verse 2 tat adbhutam achintyam cha bhedanam dhanushah tatha tat shrutva aham anuprapto dhanur grihya aparam shubham that was a wonderful feat and one would hardly think thee capable of it close on the heels of the report i hastened hither with this bow verse 3 तत् इदम घोर संकाशम जामदग्न्यम महत धनुहु पूरे यस्व शरेन इव स्व बलम दर्शयस्व च स्ट्रिंग दाउ दिस वेपन ऑफ माय ऑनर्ड सायर नो लाइट टास्क फॉर दाय बॉयश हैंड्स एंड फिट दिस शाफ्ट टू इट देन शैल दाउ कन्विंस मी ऑफ दाय बोस्टेड माइट वर्स 4 तत् अहम ते बल दृष्ट्वा धनुषो अपि अस्य पुराणे द्वंद्वयुद्ध प्रदास्यामि वीर्य श्लाघ्यम अहम तब देन शैल आई बी प्लीज टू ऑफर दी द कवटेड ऑनर ऑफ बैटल विद मी फॉर दाई वैलर वुड देन एंटाइटल दी टू बी सो डिस्टिंग्विश्ड वर्स फाइव तस् तत्वन श्रुवा राजा दाश्रथ तदाषण वदनो दीन प्राजलि वाक्यम अब्रवीत अट विच वर्ड्स ऑफ टेरेबल इंपोर्ट दि एज्ड किंग टर्न टू वर्ड्स हेम ऑफ दि एक्स अ फेस ब्लैंड विथ टेरर एंड पिटिएबल विथ ग्रीफ एंड हैंड्स ऑफ हम्बल एंट्रीटी एंड सेड वर्स सिक्स क्षत्र रोषा प्रशा ब्राह्मण च महातपा बाला पुत्रा अभय दातुमर्हसी अ ब्राह्मण दाउ एंड ऑफ अ क्लाउडलेस फेम दाउ हेट्स लॉन्ग एर दिस लेड असाय दाय रेन्तलेस वेंजेंस एगेंस्ट द रेस ऑफ किंग्स विथ रेस हैंड्स आई इम्प्लोर दी नॉट टू हॉर्म माय इनसेंट वन वर्स सेवेन भागवा कुले जात स्वाध्याय व्रतशालिना सहस्राक्षे प्रतिज्ञाय शस्त्र प्रक्षद इप्तवान असी ऑफ द रेस ऑफ ब्रिगु दाउ खमस्ट मेन रिनाउंड फॉर सेंटली विजडम एंड चेस्ट वैस thy word thou passed unto the lord of celestials and laid aside thy weapon of wrath verse 8 satvam dharma paro bhutva kashya paya vasundharam datva vanam upagamya mahendra krita ketanah thou betookest thyself to the paths of peace and righteousness made over the earth that was thine by conquest unto kashipa and sought the quiet solitudes of mahendra verse 9 
मम सर्व विनाशाय संप्राप्त अथवा महामुने न चिन्ह हते रामे सर्वे जीवा महे वयम and lo here has thou come to send us all along the path of destruction for none of us can outlive rama our life and soul if any harm should light upon his fair head verse 10 bruvati evam dasharathe jamadagnya pratapavan anadritya tu tat vakyam ramam eva abhyabhashata But Parashurama seemed to ignore him and his words and addressed himself again to Rama. Verse eleven. Ime dva dhanushi shreshte divya loke abhipujite drude balavati mukhe sukrite Vishvakarmana. Of your Vishvakarman, the architect of the gods, fashioned two bows, strong, firm, and of celestial might, famed through all the worlds. Verse 12. One of them the gods gave to Shiva when he marched forth to destroy the fierce Asuras of the three cities and that was one you happened to break. Verse 13. इदम द्वितीय दुर्दर्शम विष्णुर्दत्तम सुरोतम तत् इदम वैष्णव राम धनु परापुर जय सनसारम का कुत्स्त रौद्रेन धनुषा तो इदम दि अदर दट आई हेव हियर वॉज गिवन टू लॉर्ड विष्णु इक्वल इन स्ट्रेंथ टू द वन हैंडल बाय रुद्र आई नो ईजी थिंग टू एस ए Lo, how it blazes forth in its divine luster. Verses fourteen and fifteen. Tada tu devata ha sarva ha prachanti isma pita maham shiti kanthasya vishnu ho cha bala abala nirikshaya abhi prayam tu vignaya devata nam pita maham. विरोधम जनयामास तयो हो सत्यवताम वरह वेल द गॉड सॉट आउट ब्रह्मा एंड क्वेश्चन हिम अबाउट द रिस्पेक्टिव माइंड्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड्स विष्णु एंड महादेव द सेल्फ बोर्न वन रेड इन टू देयर हार्ट्स एंड सेट द वन अगेंस्ट द अदर वर्स 16 विरोधे तु महत युद्धम अभवत रोम हर्षणम शिति कंठस्य विष्णो हो च परस्पर जय एशीन हो ग्रेट वॉज अ फाइट दट इंस्यूड बिटवीन द टू एंड फ्राइटफुल टू बिहोल्ड फॉर ईच स्ट्रोव हिज बेस्ट टू गेट द बेटर ऑफ द अदर वर्स सेवेंटीन तदा तो झृंभीत शैव धनु भीम पराक्रम हम कारेण महादेव संभीतो अथ त्रिलोचन देन विष्णु सेंट फोर द माइटी शाउट हम ही क्राइड एंड द टेरेबल बो ऑफ महादेव गेव वे एंड ही हिमसो वॉज टिपिफाइड देर बाय वर्स एटीन देव ही तदा समागम्य स ऋषि संघ ही स चारण ही याचित प्रशम त्र जगमत तौ सुर उत्तम देन एंजल्स एंड गॉड्स सेजस एंड सेंट्स अप्रोच एंड इम्प्लोर देम टू ले असाई देर रैथ वर्स नाइंटीन झृंबित तद्धनु दृष्ट्वा शैव विष्णु पराक्रम ही अधिक मनेरे विष्णु देवा स ऋषिगणा तदा When they beheld the bow of Shiva break before the might of Vishnu the shadow of doubt that lurked in the hearts of the gods vanished and Vishnu stood the mightier of the two verse 20 Dhanu rudrah tu samkruddho videheshu mahayashah devaratasya rajas rishi dadau haste sasayakam 
Having paid high reverence unto him, they took respectful leave of Rudra and left for their respective regions and Brahma and Indra along with them. Lord Mahadeva, his heart still sore with the sense of defeat, gave his bow and arrows to King Devarata of the Videhas. Verse 21 Idam Vaishnavam Rama Dhanuhu Parapuram Jayam Richike Bhargave Pradat Vishnuhu Sa Nyasam Uttamam Vishnu handed over his mighty bow and arrows unto Richika of the line of Bragu. We already know from the earlier chapters of Balakan that Richika married Vishwamitra's older sister Sativati. And therefore, we know that Parashurama is Vishwamitra's sister's grandson. Verse 23. Nyasta Shastre Pitare me tapo bala saman vite Arjuno vidade mrityum prakritam buddhim astitha. My sire Jamadagni of unrivaled prowess got it from him. Later on, he engaged himself in severe austerities, and unspeakable was the might that accrued to him thereby. He laid aside his weapons of war, useless to him and never to be resumed. But King Arjuna, base of heart, slew in cold blood the unoffending sage. Verses 24 and 25 Vadham apriti rupam tu pitahu shutva sadarunam kshatram utsadayan roshat jatam jatam anekashah Pritivim cha akhilam prapya kashyapaya mahatmane yagnyasya ante tada rama dakshinam punya karmane datva mahendra nilaya tapo bala samanvitaha. The cruel death of my innocent sire burned into my heart like molten lead and cried out for vengeance dire and swift. And I laid my axe at the root of the race of kings, times out of count, as fast as they grew. I wiped them off the face of the earth, which I subdued by the might of my arms. And at a grand sacrifice, I offered it as a gift to the great Kashipa, the Holy One. Thereafter, I repaired to Mount Mahindra and engaged myself in severe austerities. There do I yet remain in that happy resort of angels and gods. Verses 26 and 27 Shritvatu danushu bhedam tato aham drutam agataha tat ekam vaishnavam rama pitra paitam aham mahat kshatra dharmam puraskritya grihanishva dhanur uttamam but today I happen to hear the gods speak to one another in the high heavens of thy wonderful feet in tones of admiration and awe. They said that thou, out of thy marvelous energy, broke asunder the divine bow of Shiva, and all at once I hastened thither to assure myself of the truth of the report. Verse 28 Yojiyasva danuhu shreshti sharam para puram jayam yadi shaktaha asi kakutsta dvandvam dasyami te tataha. Take thou this bow used of yore by Lord Vishnu. Walk in the path of thy forefathers of stainless fame. Fit thou the shaft of fiery energy unto the string. Well, if thou but succeed in doing that, I shall then be glad to offer thee a chance to measure thyself with me. This is the conclusion of the 75th chapter of Balakant. A couple of salient points for us to note over here is that Vishnu and Shiva, this is a pastime that they engaged in. Shiva is considered to be the greatest of Vaishnavas, Vaishnavanam Yatha Shambhu. This is mentioned in the 12th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. So over here, he engages in a pastime that would uh, glorify Lord Vishnu. And 
we are studying about this in Kali Yuga. So for so many Yugas, this has been a very great deal. So this is the reason why we shouldn't think that, oh, Shiva and Vishnu actually fought against each other. We should know that Shiva would do anything to please the Lord, including fight with him. In occasions that would glorify him. In the next chapter, we will see how Lord Ramachandra, the son of King Dashrata, confronts this. Mangalam Goshlendraya Mahaniya Gunabde Chakravarti Dhanurjaya Sarvabhomaya Mangalam Jai Sitaram.